Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Phil Cool. Brilliant, what a welcome, thanks very much. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit late getting here tonight. I've only, I've only just arrived. I, I know I was late when I was driving along as well. And I couldn't imagine your faces, your little faces, and you're all waiting for me here. You know. And I thought, oh, Sodom. <laughs> yeah. I'll get there somehow, you know. Why worry about time? But people do, people are obsessed with worrying about time. I never worry about time. I haven't even got a watch. Yeah, be like me. Get rid of your watch. Get a ballpoint pen instead, right? <laughs> and draw a watch on your wrist. A big one. Give it fingers, numbers, strap, buckle, the whole bit, you know. Give yourself an expensive one, you know. <laughs> Rolux. <laughs> right? And then when, you, when you're bored uh, on a bus station or whatever, you go up to somebody, you say, excuse me, um, have you got the right time, please? And he goes, 3.15 precisely. And you go, oh, mine stopped, see. So. <laughs> 3.15, you say. I'll put mine a couple of minutes fast, if you don't mind. <laughs> I always like mine a couple of minutes fast, thank you. And then sure enough, a couple of minutes later, somebody's bound to come up to you, you know. Excuse me, have you got the right time, please? <laughs> you have, no? <laughs> it's 3.17, look. <laughs> and he goes wandering off, scratching his head, you know. <laughs> What kind of a loon he draws a watch on his wrist with a bar out? <laughs> but the payoff comes when he goes back to the guy you've asked two minutes earlier. Excuse me, have you got the right time, please? 3.17 precisely. <laughs> I think I just entered the twilight zone. <clears throat> <sighs> well, I was looking.